just can't stop coming over the top. If only there was a way of never coming over the top ever again. Ah, this could be the answer. Never ever going to come over the top with this. Oh, perfect. All my problems are solved. I've tried absolutely everything to cure my slice and all I ever needed was a head cover, a gift from the gods. Look at that. Little drawer, 196. That's it. I've got it now. I don't need this. I've got the drawers. I know how it feels. Oh, it's back again. How's that happening? Well, that obviously doesn't work, does it? I'm guessing you might have experienced the same thing as well in the past. Using training aids, particularly that head cover, you may have been advised by somebody or seen a video or some kind of instruction that's trying to train you to feel a draw by using something external, but that's really not allowing you to connect with what that draw truly feels like. And you've just seen it there with the head cover, no problem. Without the head cover, reverting back. And this happens time and time again. So how can we practice so that this sticks? That that feel of the draw is actually repeatable. We don't need the training aids. What we do need to do is attune ourselves to this thing and where it's traveling and what the outcome might be of how it's traveling and how it's striking the golf ball. How do we sense that ball fly with the form of our movement. How do we understand and recognize what we're doing? Now this thing happens so fast, this is all down to kinesthetic awareness. This is not something that can be trained slowly with static positions or with something that really doesn't afford us an opportunity to attune ourselves intrinsically with how this thing feels because the task of just missing the head cover may produce the draw, but that's just me cueing my movement with the intention of missing that head cover. So when that head cover's not there, I don't have that cue anymore, it's gone. And the movement I was making to avoid the head cover isn't that recognizable for me. It's a completely different task. It's a completely different environment. And therefore the feedback loops that I'm getting, that I'm responding to are very different. So just to miss that, yes, I've got a, an awareness of where the head's going, but do I truly really recognize how I'm moving? So an ideal drill to help us feel that draw swing is to use two clubs. So I've got a four iron and a six iron. I'm gonna put the longer club in the left hand, lead hand, shorter club in the trail. And this is not the easiest thing to do if you've never tried it before, to swing the clubs in sync. So they're moving in tandem with each other. So whenever you stop the golf clubs, they're mirroring each other. So the faces, so the leading edges there, and the shafts are all in sync. And then we swing through, and it's the same over there. Now what I want you to recognize while you're doing this is how your body's moving, and what are you using to swing the clubs? Are you using the wrists, or is it coming predominantly from the shoulders? Are you allowing these club heads to swing freely, or is it something that, is it quite, are you finding it quite difficult to do? Because you're using maybe the shoulder and the arm together. Can you see here, this is almost like a block. I'm trying to move from the shoulder as opposed to a sequence, wrist, can you see even the elbows bent there slightly and it's going to straighten. So how is this going to help us with the dreaded over the top? Over the top being just another form of golfing jargon which really doesn't have any meaning to be honest. Over the top of what? And over the top, which may be deemed to be this kind of action, which we know creates a swing path to the left which creates that potential pull if the club face squares up to the path, or if the face stays open, the ball starts in the direction the face is pointing, fairly straight or even to the right, and the path that is going to the left of the face creates that curvature and we see that slice. And it gets worse as the loft gets less and less and less. So the more lofted clubs can actually disguise this. And we may even think, oh, my swing's okay, I can do it with my shorter irons. But as soon as I start to get the longer clubs in my hand, the distance it doesn't really increase that much. So you might find the gap in isn't there between the clubs, so it kind of bunches up distance-wise, and the slice emerges. And as you get longer and longer with the club, less loft up towards the driver, the slice gets worse. So how do we stop that over-the-top swing path to the left and start playing the draws? 
Well, using the two club exercise, we can start to feel that path. So the clubs are traveling more to the right. And just notice how the body's moving to facilitate this. So we've got a free flowing action from the wrists, the forearms, the shoulders, and the rest of the body is just starting to move to facilitate that swing. So there's a momentum shift here. If we look at the pressure plate data, we can see as I'm swinging the club, that pressure is shifting from right to left. In fact, at the moment, can you see where the clubs are here? They're, they're changing direction. And look at the pressure shift as I do that. It's already shifting to my lead side. It's already gone. And it's actually moving in the direction that I intend to swing. Notice what happens if we swing to the left. So I'm going to swing to the left now. And there's not a lot of pressure shift. And the pressure is not really initiating this action. It's more an arm, shoulder, kind of chest dominant movement. This is a very different foot ground interaction. And therefore it's a very different body movement. It creates a completely different form of movement to swing the club now to create a draw release. The actual release of the golf club is happening after the pressure has stopped. So if you think of throwing a ball, the pressure stops, sequence fires. To allow us to swing to the right and fire that sequence for a draw swing, we need the pressure to shift and stop. Now using the two clubs is gonna give us a sense for this. So it's allowing me to swing the club in this direction without me having to physically force it or manipulate this. This is a natural counterbalancing movement. So I can let the club swing out to the right with minimal effort, with ease. It's not a manipulated kind of contrived action, it's just a free flowing release. Pressure's gone, it's already stopped and now the body fires and you can start to feel where this club's traveling to. Then what I would do is take the club out of the trail hand keeping the lead hand in place there with the club in, in, in the same place. Don't move that club and bring your right hand towards it. And now swing back and through to that same place. Can you replicate the feel of that form of movement to swing the club to that same place? What does it feel like now in this finish? So we can start to reverse engineer the process and we can swing the club back, just like we did with the throwing exercise with the clubs back and through. And now we've got this arc and we've got a body movement we recognize, we've got a foot movement we recognize. More importantly, not just a movement, a sense for the movement, we can feel the pressure because we're actually shifting our attention into this part of the body so we can start to recognize what's taking place. Often, our attention's just in the wrong place so we don't develop awareness in that place. So the head cover, it's really just providing a cue, really attracts our attention, it's a huge attractor, but the problem is, it's distracting us from what we're actually doing. So we're not recognizing how we're responding to this task, we're just achieving the objective of not slicing it, because the head cover's there. So this is where our attention is focused, which means awareness may be developing around here, but do I really recognize what I'm doing? And obviously not, because it didn't, it didn't work for me. And I've done that drill hundreds of times and I'm sure you might have too. So now we can actually start to feed this into our practice. So we can use this exercise and swing the club over the ball to get a sense of where the club's traveling from and to and the form of movement the body's creating in response to produce that draw release pattern. And the finish here really is so important because this is probably a completely different place than we're used to going with the over the top move. It's very different space, so therefore we've got to recognize the form of body movement that relates to that, that place in space where the club is. So we can make the swing and then clip the ball away. And there's the draw arc. So we're getting the complete opposite to what we normally experience by essentially moving the body in a very different way. And that requires a big shift in perception of how we move. And quite often in our practice, we don't allow ourselves to adapt enough. So we don't afford ourselves enough scope to shift our movement to produce this draw. 
because we're so used to doing the same thing all the time and if that's an over the top movement that we've habitualized ourselves to it's very difficult to shift our movement to swing the club essentially in the opposite direction that's a very very different form of movement it will take a long long time to work that out in chunks you may do it with a head cover there but with the tension being on the head cover that's denying us an opportunity to actually attune ourselves to how the body's moving in response so we want to recognize the whole motion not just parts of the motion so try this drill at home guys once you start to move this way and get the arc traveling to the right into out essentially to that target line if you're using a target line you're going to start to get a sense of the movement that's creating this and finally rid yourself of that over the top move well that obviously doesn't work does it i'm guessing <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> <laughing>. <laughs> i didn't know you were going to say it <laughs>